So the Radio Master multifunctional module finally arrived and it came with a stinky little uh, antenna. Fortunately I've got a high gain one that's compatible. So swap that over. And with a little module it's uh, it fits very nicely in the back like that. So we'll go outside and uh, set it up and show how it binds to a Bugs 3 flight control board. So the first time I fly a particular Bugs I have to go into this, the uh, first second screen of the model and go down to binds and to do the bind. Once it's bound of course it's okay. So what I'll do now is turn it off. Receiver still connected. It won't let you do that if it's uh, if it's still connected, which is a good feature. So I'll disconnect it. So once you've disconnected the um, the power to the drone, it'll turn off the pocket automatically. So I'll start it up again. Welcome to HTX. Designed. And okay. So that's about ready. So what I can do now is plug the battery in, and it should come be ready, be bound. And I've got a timer on it. Oh, you just press in the, the roller, and I can go down to, to reset and reset timer one. So it does count down to five minutes. It's just something I picked up from uh, Captain Drone. So there's the drone, here's this. So, in theory, now if I just press the arm button. It's armed. Disarmed. Armed. Hello. So down. So I'll disarm it. Disarmed. Armed. Disarmed. Very disarming. So I get the message uh, telemetry lost when I unplug it, which is nice, which is correct. So I'll now turn it, close it down into snooze mode. So there's the uh, multi-protocol multi module with a decent antenna on it that gives me uh, quite reasonable range. A very handy resource I rapidly discovered was the uh, the companion, the HTX companion. Um, and this can read the YML files and do other things I suspect, which I haven't discovered yet. But basically, rather than editing the YML file directly, um, I can bring it up in this thing and what it's showing under the setup is um, <coughs> I'm using the multi, multi protocol module, uh, radio protocol of bugs, or number 41, depending on what you've got. Um, that's about all that's on that screen. On inputs, um, you've got them in the order I've got, got them the area long elevator, throttle, and the rudder. Uh, disappointingly, I had to reverse the uh, weight on the Arilon and the rudder, which is something I had to do with the early implementation of the Bug3 protocol on Deviation TX. But the developers sorted that, so quite why it's round the wrong way, I don't know. As I say, I only just started to get into HTX, so I'm, I'm really new to it. Uh, mixes and what it's showing, Channel 5, I'm using that as the, the SA switch. That's the um, on or off switch to arm the motors. Um, what else have we got? It just occurs the outputs. Oh, logical switches I've got into. So what I had to do here was set up logical switches. This is where I'm working with telemetry. Um, and the idea is <coughs> I'm looking for an RSI value if it's if minus 70 or less. Um, with 3S 7.4 for the alarm there 
and they're both tied to they're only active when the um, quadcopter is armed which is when I have the SA, SA switch depressed so if you look at special functions so logical switch 1 and 2 under special functions um, I've got armed and disarmed on the uh, with the arming switch um, disarmed um, and then for the logical switches I play a track of telemetry and I play a track of low bat now that that's kind of working telemetry um, I got an interesting thing where when I was actually flying and I went a bit uh, out of range I got an RF critical which got, got me whipping around to face it properly and uh, it didn't it went away without issue but I'm still learning a bit but that, that's where I've got to to fly the thing um, a shortcut for me is I'm no longer, I'm no longer concerned with different rates and expos uh, when I was learning, I think we're all into that, would have different rates set up for easy, harder and whatever. Uh, these days I don't think I need any expo on the on any of the channels. Um, that is the uh, air alarm elevator rudder or, th or throttle. Okay, well that's probably it for... Oh, the other thing is, with this thing you can um, you can bring up a simulator, you can simulate the radio. Um, I'm not sure what to do with this. The only thing I have discovered, I calibrated the, um, the pocket when I got it, and this confirms that I'm getting 100 and minus 100 on, on these settings. Um, the throttle, the up or down, this one, um, elevator, air alarm and also the uh, yeah that one so that's probably about it